also have a hard out at 8.45, so uh, I'm going to start this real quick. I'm your next speaker. I have not seen these slides. Someone made them for me. I haven't seen any of them. If you saw me at Loose Moose Theater, I improvise a lot of things, so I'm improvising my talk tonight. So Calgary, I present to you the entirely true oral history of SIF. What is film? This is me as a child asking that question. What is film? Look at me with my glasses in wonderment. I didn't know what it was. And then I watched my favorite movie, Home Alone. I remember this specific scene from the movie changed my life forever. And you're wondering to yourself, that's not Home Alone, right? But my family was from the Northeast. We were too poor to have Home Alone. So they kept showing me E.T. and saying, no, this is Home Alone. Don't ask any further questions. But this is where my love of film came into play. And Calgary, this place right here, nourished that love of film. And I'm so proud to say that in 1998, the Calgary International Film Festival signed the official papers to be a corporation. Founded by David Morelli, Andrew Eck, and Dominic Venturo. I know, those names are glorious. They sound like they're from a dirty dancing film in the 80s. But we were here, we were proud, we wanted to put Calgary on the map, and we were willing to show our breasts to the world. And that's what we did because the first official festival took place in the year 2000, the year this puppy was born. May this puppy rest in peace. The first year brought over 8,000 attendees, played 58 films over six days on one screen. And this was one of the films. It was, it was a documentary on the film festival itself and how it was a bloodbath to get here because it wasn't easy. Making art in Calgary isn't easy. Anyone in the arts will tell you that, but we do it because we love it. We showed movies. This group was passionate because they believed they were the king of the world. They believed they can do anything. And that's the Calgary mentality. That is the Calgary spirit. And they did it every single year. In 2002, it expanded to 89 features and documentaries. Year after year, SIF kept on growing. But the money, the money wasn't always there. The money's in a cage. How do you get the money? How do you make film in this province? We have no money. It felt like a goal we couldn't achieve. And honestly, from that first year, all the way to 2009, our 10th anniversary, it felt like the money wasn't there. But then something happened. We remembered what made the film festival great, us, our city. This is a glimpse back into the past. So the film festival focused on what made this city and film festival great, the people in this city, the people who cared, the people who took the elevator all the way to Las Vegas and did not care. They did whatever they want to succeed. That one threw me off. <laughs> but it doesn't matter if you're drunk on the love of film and you, woke, you wake up hung over because you'll do whatever it takes because film is beautiful. So they worked so hard to dig out the film festival out of financial turmoil because they knew there was beauty on the other side. They went back to grassroots, engaging the community, working with local filmmakers. And this film festival has become the place that has launched so many careers. Mine included. How can I afford a bathtub full of sneakers? The Calgary International Film Festival. They believed in me, and I started working with the film festival in 2009. I started hosting their events. I had my first feature film at the film festival in 2009. And honestly, being at the film festival changed my career. It changed my trajectory. Because before, I didn't think that an Asian kid from Calgary could be on the big screen, could make art as a living, could be on television. And this film festival changed my mind. It made me feel like I, could, I believed I could do it. So as we went on, I made some friends along the way. 
I gathered people around me to support me. Brothers, best friends, superheroes. And this film festival is a bit like a superhero because it empowers people. So many people claim this film festival has skyrocketed their career to the moon and back. Names like Damien Chazelle, who in 2009 brought his film here and went on to direct Whiplash and La La Land. Almost one best picture, all right? Thank you for people who understood that reference. And in 2015, this festival was on the outside looking in. How do we get in? But in 2015, they let us in. This film festival became a qualifier for the Oscars in the short film category. Finally, this film festival was being recognized before we were worried about money, but now we were creating art. We were building careers. We did it. Yo, Adrian, we did it. We were going to fly all the way to the steps when they didn't believe that we could beat the world champions of film festivals. We did. They plucked us all the way there. We kept on running and running and running. So where are we today? We are here. Not here, that's the globe, that's downtown. We're at Chinook if you don't have Google Maps. But like we're here figuratively on this land. We are still running this festival and it's better than ever. Movie Maker Magazine named it one of the top festivals worth your money as a filmmaker. When other film, film, film festivals are going down, they're going down, we're on the rise. We're the opposite. We've survived recession. We've survived the fall in oil. We've survived multiple government changes. We've survived the life and death of the Green Line. But the film festival is still here. We're laughing in the face and we're selling out theaters all across the city. People line up trying to see the movies that this festival curates. And it's honestly one of the best in the world. And the lesson here was that we have to remember what makes this festival great. And that's the ability to put everyone else in a chokehold and remind them that Calgary is badass and we will do whatever it takes to survive. We will choke you out because that's the Calgary mentality. We're nice, but we play to win the game. And the game is to look cute as fuck, all right? We look great doing it. We excel at everything we do, and at the end of the day, we come out and people are like, damn, you look cute as hell. Jewelry on your wrists, sunglasses all the time. We are cool at what we do. So thank you for being here. Thank you for showing your love of cinema. Thank you for surrounding yourselves with the beautiful flowers that make this artistic community great. I am a kid from the Northeast of Calgary, and this film festival changed my life. It has changed the lives of so many people. <laughs> and they might call us douchebags, but they don't know how wonderful art is. And you've heard it tonight with all the stories about lens, all the stories about film changing our lives, about how it's given us perspective on our lives. And if I could leave you with one thought as you leave, it's that I want you to celebrate. Celebrate 25 years of honestly the best film festival in the world. Say it loud and proud, and honestly, if they don't agree, choke them out. I'm Andrew Fung, thank you so much. I, I don't know if any of that made sense, I hope it did. I was, I was flying real high. Thank, great, great job making those slides. That really threw me off.